all right what is up guys it is love flap here for another game of black ops 6 multiplayer the open beta uh, i played a couple games off recording uh there is just no lobby music here if there is i have not seen it but i've reopened this game multiple times there's just no lobby music but with all that being said i'm really enjoying this game this game has felt a lot better than i initially thought i thought it was going to be a bit uh wonky only where like the most hardcore of hardcore can actually understand the movement but it's actually not bad so we're just going to do a couple more matches uh like throughout the beta since it's only here for two days we're going to do a couple matches of the beta and uh have those videos be put out and then we will move on to something else entirely now i don't know if i'm going to buy this game i'm going to be honest because when it comes to like videos like my understanding of why i was making videos before was just different uh <clears throat> excuse me all i wanted to do was uh, okay. uh let me mute that guy all right uh when it came to like video making all i really wanted to do was you know make money and playing games that i enjoyed and i come from like old youtube days where if you were part of some company like machinima or something like that it was basically like gds in terms of how much blind, uh, blind. Shit, how much funding you were making um all of that's changed oh, as well as like my upbringing situation like it's just hopefully i guess i stop that but uh all that's changed my my living situation um you know the the money i make all that's changed i don't make as much as i thought i would be when i was like a teenager <laughs> and it's just a, a little bit unfortunate because there's there's more i'd like to be a part of that you need to have those kind of funds to be a part of it you know it's so i'm just relegated to where i'm at with that being the case you know it it's just difficult it's just difficult for me uh, i don't really get out too much uh, i typically am working even if i'm not at work i'm like trying to make videos or i'm trying to make concepts for videos or try to indulge in new creative creative arts that i can share with you guys but that all the creative all the creative arts i want are very time consuming All the things I want to do, they're very time consuming and they they require a bit more technical fidelity for me to pull it off in a way I like. And it's, it's just me, you know, I don't have an editor. Uh, I, I don't think I could have the funds to pay an editor right now, regardless. But beyond that point, because everything is being done manually and I'm trying to add, I guess, my own unique flair to what it is you're looking at. I take a lot more time and it's more time than the actual game or content that i'm putting out is worth waiting for you get what i'm saying so let's say i have an idea for call of duty uh black ops 6 you know what i'm saying i have a very cinematic idea well for one because it's just me getting those clips excuse me to happen the way i want them to happen is it's just not likely you know i have to be very good at the game or at least above average skill level at the game to oh kind of gosh. force interactions Babylon. oh my god because it's just me and i have to have the technical fidelity to be able to get the the interactions i want it it's more like mind numbing because even if i want to work smarter towards it it's hard to do that because of the the scenario i'm putting um it, it just is what it is so in terms of like high production videos i think i'm turning away from those and i'm doing more videos like these where i'm kind of just talking talking and playing and putting that out for you guys because i'm sure there's there's things you guys are interested in knowing about me that i'm i'm pretty to myself about like i feel like i yap a lot and i i feel like it's stuff that most people wouldn't really care about <laughs> even though i have a youtube channel to where it's like it doesn't matter it's, it's for you yeah i know youtube kind of lost on me it it just is what it is this is tdm i 
but yeah like the deadpool stuff the deadpool movie the deadpool and wolverine movie that junk was super inspirational to me in terms of like god damn following what you want to do uh the behind the scenes of the movie and the actual movie like all of it to me is pretty like inspirational or at least it's motivating it's very motivating i don't know if you guys see when i when i put edits out like that but you know i get like part way through and that's just it because that's all i have time for oh my god I don't know why Flint's so hard. Like, I think he's gonna move or something. Oh my god. Come on, you're losing this fight. Yeah, I know. I'm getting outgunned. What can I say? Assassin target. I played, uh, COD when I was younger, like when I was 12. And that was my first introduction to COD. It wasn't through like my parents or anything. I think it was like people around me were playing it. Behind. And I was like, oh, I want to be cool. So I, I started playing it. I was pretty bad at it. Only picked assault rifles. Didn't really understand like the differences between assault rifle, SMG, snipers. Oh my God, snipers. Uh, the perks. I didn't understand the nuance of anything. Well, I don't know why I just sat there thinking he wasn't gonna go, gonna go around. But yeah, I didn't understand the nuance of anything. And I mean, like, it kind of still shows now in my gameplay. Cause, oh my god, I was playing it because <laughs> YouTubers. I'm like, oh man, that that seems to be the cool thing to do. Yeah, I, I know. Not my, uh, not my best work. Man, these guys are moving. Every time I've said something, I've just been dying. It's just annoying. It's annoying being bad at a game that you want to be good at. I mean, there's nothing you can really do, though, except get better. I literally suck. Yeah, my aim is not like everybody else's. Everybody's all cracked on this game. Well, it's like, it's not just this one. It's like any Call of Duty. You see it's, see that guy drop shotting? It's like they already have the patterns they want. Oh my god! Why was that dude in front of me? It's in terms of getting into cover and stuff and aiming like i'm getting so annoyed it's it sucks sucking <laughs> i'm gonna be honest it, it really does god i'm clearly supposed to be more accurate or i'm supposed to hold down points but then i i literally suck when i when i start aiming at them so it's like what the fuck I'm supposed to use this cover. I'm not. <laughs> That's why I'm not seeing when people move. Because they use the cover. Or they're moving in like small sequences like that. It just, yeah. I'm just not as good as I'd like to be when it comes to Call of Duty franchise games. I'd say the best one I was good at was Black Ops 2, and even then, I feel like it was just because of how those maps were, because when they got into those open maps, I started doing really poor. Uh, Advanced Warfare I was also, like, decent at, but I don't know if that was because of, like, the weapon I had or, or what, because I think a lot of people disliked the movement, and that, that had to make them change how they were approaching the game in the first place. But I never even had a grasp of the game in the first place. So, like, vertical movement like that was fine for me. But that's going to be all for this one. I'm going to upload another video playing another Magic Cod. And uh, I will yap about something else. <laughs>